talk and trash talk in Cincinnati. It looks like changes, change rather, is in the air now for the one can rule. Over the summer, Cincinnati garbage pickup is going to be tweaked a little bit. WLWT News host John London is live along a residential side street for us tonight to explain how. John. Yeah, Cherie, if you're one of the families trashing the city's one can commandment, you might get the opportunity to buy a second container. City leaders are leaning in that direction. Last year, the one and done rule was trumpeted as a triumph for recycling, a landfill reliever, and a back saver for trash collectors. Fast forward to this afternoon. I think we're finding that one can fits all doesn't work. Trash talk is piling up once again at City Hall. That's not a cue for a punchline. The pictures of illegal dumping reveal the reality of a serious problem developed as a result of the existing one can rule. Since becoming mayor, John Cranley's advocated for scrapping one size fits all. Today, that idea gained traction. To allow citizens to have an additional can, purchase their own can, as long as the can is liftable with a lift bar. We are told there have been 30% fewer injuries to workers since the lift bar system. According to the Office of Environmental Quality, 90% of city residents use the medium-sized container, 8% asked for the largest size, 2% requested the smaller one. OEQ estimates a few thousand would likely be second cart customers. Complaints have piled up, along with the instances of illegal dumping, so dumping fines will probably be increased. And since Cincinnati topography is hilly with lots of steps, a fresh look at the way garbage is collected is underway again. Not every home is the same, that one size doesn't fit all, but what we don't want to do is lose the encouragement to recycle. And here's an example. You're looking live inside a can of what they don't want you to do to put recycling cans and bottles inside a metal can garbage container that's no longer used. The new administration also wants to avoid the heavy hand of enforcement as they ponder these changes. A strict enforcement was supposed to start this month. We're told the strict part of it won't. Reporting live in Mount Auburn, John London, WWT News 5. John, thank you. And not only have city workers' injuries been reduced under this one-can system, the tipping fees at the Rumpke landfill have also gone down as well.